Good morning, it's November 10th, 2021, and I have two case updates for Brendan Santo from Michigan and Summer Wells from Tennessee. Now let me tell you, it's a lot. A lot happened over the weekend with Brendan Santo. Let's go to Brendan Santo's family. Bring Brendan home Facebook page. The map that you see in front of you is a standard MSU, Michigan State University campus map. I couldn't find a clear one to compare, but you'll get the idea if you just look at it. The, this is what the family says. This is what was accomplished yesterday, meaning Sunday. The few areas that are not shaded in, we didn't get those maps back. It may be areas we handed out earlier in the day before we thought to request you bring your maps back. If you were searching today, can you give us an idea of where you were searching? We are trying to keep track. Thank you again for all your help. Please keep the faith, keep sharing, and positive vibes. Hashtag bring Brendan home and Michigan State Police number for tips is 844. 99 MSUPD, or you can email tips at tips at police.msu.edu, and that includes your map. If you just screenshot your map of where the area that you searched in, colored in, email it to MSUPD, and they will make sure that they record the fact that that area has been searched by public volunteers. And from late last night, from the Bre Bring Brendan Santo Home page, Good Morning America, Today Show, The View, 48 Hours, Detroit Tigers, Detroit Lions, Detroit Red Wings, Detroit Pistons. We need help getting the word out. Please share this story. Brendan is still missing. Our family greatly appreciates everyone's concern the continued sharing of the story, messages, and continued searching. We are just regular people with no previous knowledge of how to handle this situation and really what family would. We are trying our best to find answers and bring Brendan home. We literally learning, we're literally learning on the fly and everyone's help and concern is heartfelt. Please keep in mind that this is still an active police investigation. We, the public, are not privy to all aspects of the case. That is to protect the integrity of the case. A task force has been formed, which includes Michigan State University Campus Police, East Lansing Police, the FBI, Grand Valley State University Police, Ingham County Sheriffs, Michigan Attorney General, Michigan State Police and Oakland County Sheriffs. Searches by foot, drone, helicopter, canine units, boats, with sonar and divers. We also completed the organized civilian search on Saturday, November 6th. They are reviewing cellular and GPS data along with any tips that have been reported. Facts. Brendan went missing October 29th 2021, shortly before midnight. He was visiting friends at Michigan State University in East Lansing, Michigan. He is a Grand Valley State University student. This is the Friday night prior to the Michigan State versus U of M football game. For those of you not from Michigan, this is an extremely popular game. On the night he went missing, Brennan was wearing black red wing baseball cap, a black shirt, gray sweatpants, and a white and white Converse shoes. He was wearing a gold necklace with a cross. A picture was taken that night and is on the missing person flyer. We are in the process of updating it. He also care he was also carrying a dark brown wallet. The last confirmed place Brendan was seen was leaving Yakely Hall by himself. We have had tips from people who thought they have seen him after this, but it has not been confirmed as of yet. Please continue to forward any information directly to the tip line. The last confirmed location of Brendan's phone was on Beale Street, not far from Yakely. 
Police were able to confirm his battery drained down to 0%. It was not deliberately shut off. It is a dark color iPhone 11 with dark or clear case with no screen protector. Brendan drove his vehicle to MSU, parking it, and it never moved. Brendan was not carrying his keys to his vehicle and his parents were able to take his vehicle home. Brendan was carrying keys to his friend's vehicle. They are in his back pocket. The picture on the page is a spare set. The friend's vehicle was parked at Emmons Hall Friday and has not moved until it was towed to the dealership for new keys on Sunday. The boys checked the vehicle throughout the day on Saturday, assuming Brendan went to sleep in the vehicle. When it became clear he had not returned, they contacted Michigan State University Police. The police did a search of the vehicle. Brendan's bank credit card was reviewed and it has not been used since the evening of October 29th. Brennan was not depressed or unhappy with his home or school life. He's very close with his parents. Brennan has several friends at MSU, most of who are friends he has had for a long time. His friends are cooperating with police. Please keep in mind these are young kids and their friend is missing. It has been confirmed that the cameras around the area Brendan was miss, went missing were not operational. We do have a volunteer that has been checking area pawn shops for Brendan's necklace. There is a $5,000 reward for anyone who supplies credible information that leads to bringing Brendan home. I know some people have already contributed to the reward. Our family is just overwhelmed. And then it gives the direct link to Crime Stoppers of Mid Michigan. And also the GoFundMe account has been set up and there's a direct link there. As always, as you would expect from me, links in the show notes in the description after this video. <clears throat> Sorry about the jumping screen. Other avenues to assist in the investigation are also being discussed. Thank you everyone who has made suggestions. We have had offers for billboards, Facebook advertising, and posters. We are in the process of getting the word out. We have been reaching out to several news agencies, foundations, organizations, and celebrities, and will continue to do so. Any suggestions are greatly appreciated. If you know anyone personally affiliated with any of these venues, please feel free to forward the missing flyer or have them visit Bring Brendan Santo Home. That's this page I'm reading from. We do not have any plans right now for another organized search of the campus. If you are still interested in searching, we do appreciate it. We only ask that you are careful and do not attempt to access areas that you do not have the authority to be in. There have been several recommendations for areas to search and cameras to review. Many of these suggestions are things that need to be done by the police. We will follow up with them. Any possible sightings should go directly to the police at 844-99-MSUPD, 844-996. 7873. Brendan's parents have not gone public because they want all the focus to be on finding Brendan, not them. They're asking that you respect their wishes during this difficult time. Brendan's father is my brother and the Bring Brendan Home team is trying to make sure they can focus all their energy on Brendan. We truly appreciate your assistance in this. I believe I have touched on many aspects people have been asking about. If I stated something in error, please feel free to contact us. I understand that there are still going to be questions. Please feel free to continue to contact us. Thank you to all the followers who have answered questions for other followers. This is of great help. Any tips, they can be made anonymously. The number that I gave you, 
or tips at police.msu.edu. Keep the faith, keep sharing, and positive vibes. Hashtag bring Brendan home. And then it gives the logo for Crime Stoppers of Mid Michigan, as we've already pointed out. If you're still with me, I thank you so much for your patience. I have one more update for you, and that is the Summer Wells case. And these developments are probably the best developments in the last almost five months. Summer Wells is a five-year-old little girl who has been missing since June 15, 2021 from her home in Rogersville, Tennessee. And we are so excited. Don and Candace Wells will be appearing on the Dr. Phil show November 11th and 12th. It's a two-part episode. Please check your local time and station for further updates. Nita Diver of Tennessee has volunteered to search the waterways again before winter, and Trace Labs has also signed on for the Summer Wells case. <music>